Hey everybody, it's Dylan. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's having a great day. <laughs> Today I'm doing a review and unboxing and discussion of this Mirabelle Disney Story doll. I'm so excited that they included Mirabelle in this series. Um, I, I think it shows that Encanto continues to be a very popular film, especially on Disney Plus for kids and adults alike. Um, it seems to always be trending each week. So it's become just one of those Disney Plus regulars. <laughs> so I'm really excited that we're going to look at Mirabelle. And I'm hoping maybe down the line we'll get some more Encanto characters. I think we're very um, likely to get Isabelle. That's not um, confirmed or anything, but I could see Isabelle in this style. <laughs> Well, so stay tuned for that, but hey, if this is your first time meeting me, hello, I'm Dylan. <laughs> I love to collect Disney princess items, and even though Mirabelle isn't an official Disney princess, she is a Disney lady, and she is this beautiful doll set here, so of course I had to have her. <laughs> but anyways, if you enjoy this, please consider subscribing to my channel. <laughs> okay, so Mirabelle is standing in front of Casa. And of course, she lives in the Encanto, where she and her people have started the new village, a new life, um, as they were ran from their previous home. But she's standing, and she's very wacky. <laughs> Mirabelle is always so quirky and wacky, and that's honestly what makes her such a great character and so relatable. So there's sparkles around her, so she's magical, and there are little flowers, butterflies. The butterfly is actually really symbolic for her relationship with her grandmother. It says Disney Encanto, Mirabelle. There's the warning label, activities inside, Disney store logo, and it includes doll and seven accessories. She does have quite a few fun things, though Mirabelle was not given a second outfit, which we will talk about in just a moment. I do have an opinion on that. <laughs> so she was given a shawl, accordion, candle, stuffed uh, leopard. I think that's probably her little brother's. A present box, toucan, and I believe that's called a capybara. Capybara. <laughs> they're they're in the movie, and they just they have that same expression on their face the whole movie, pretty much. But I think that's what those are called. <laughs> this side of the box has like the Encanto candle, very pretty, a butterfly, and some more beautiful Encanto inspired like flowers. And this side has a very pretty picture of Mirabelle. You know, she's smiling like, hey, I'm here. It's me, guys. You know, <laughs> just she's always so wacky and like just uh, stands out from her family, which is the whole synopsis of the film. <laughs> and there is Casita. So then the back, the complete back here, is a beautiful glamour shot of everything that's in the box. I will say though, it looks like they got her hair better than that recent um, doll set with Dolores in it. I, I don't know what was going on in there. I think they forgot to give Mirabelle her hairspray or something. <laughs> but there's sparkles, it's front of Casita. This is our little hint at the Encanto themed activities. And I love this shadow story here with Casita, the capybara. Um, it has Mirabelle, her little brother, Antonio, with the toucan, Isabella, and Luisa. <laughs> this is all of the product information and price tag. This was $29, and I got her from Shop Disney, but you can get these at the parks, uh, Disney stores, or Amazon. So we pull the front tab down and we have the beautiful Mirabelle framed in a gorgeous, gorgeous purple flowery like archway, I think, or, or maybe just like a flower frame. But I, I think this must be flowers that have been created by her sister Isabella. So I love that. And it has little Encanto golden butterflies mixed within the flowers. I'm so sorry, my cat is in the background meowing. I don't know what she wants, but <laughs> she's done that before. So let's just, uh, I'll try to continue the discussion. <laughs> and it looks like she's standing in like the front room of Casita, like the, I guess it's kind of like a town square inside of Casita where, you know, you can see everyone's bedrooms and that's where she's standing in front of the steps. 
This is so pretty down here though, like the front panel. This is like the sparkle magic from the Encanto. And I absolutely love that. And there's like little hairs on here. I think that those are from Mirabelle. Really weird. I thought for a minute it was coming from me, but I'm like, there's no way. <laughs> so I think that those are like remnants from Mirabelle, but this is so, so pretty. Like it's that candle magic from the Encanto. So stunning. I love this archway. It's so pretty. That's why I'm wondering, you know, like um, a Isabella doll in this style would work very well. So I'm gonna clip that. That way we can remove her safely. Doesn't look like there's too much holding her in there. Okay. Nope, that was pretty easy. <laughs> My Mirabelle did get her hair mixed up just a teeny tiny little bit. And here I was praising the placement of Mirabelle's hair <laughs> in this doll, but I think it just needed a little fixing. <laughs> Mirabelle is really cool because like Moana, she does have her own face sculpt. But let's remove Mirabelle's accessory. It's like a shawl. I believe if it got cold, she could probably wear this. Don't wanna stretch it or pull it. Really neat, so we'll look at what this looks like on her. So, Encanto came out um, during the pandemic. Um, well, sort of mid, like through the pandemic, not like right whenever the pandemic was brand new, but we went and seen it. I remember it was um, Thanksgiving and um, me and my boyfriend went and seen it on Black Friday and we absolutely loved it. And then when it was on Disney Plus for um, Christmas, we watched it that day too. So since then they've had these Encanto classic dolls and the Disney stores have done really amazing job with them. But this is the Mirabelle doll. Um, and there hasn't really been a need to change it. So I believe it is just the same Mirabelle doll that is included previously, just now repackaged. And I'm glad that she got the storybook doll treatment. <laughs> so, but Mirabelle definitely does have her own body type, you know, compared to the other Disney princesses. A lot of them just have the same body type, like Snow White all the way through, well, honestly, all the way Snow White to like, you know, until you get to Moana, honestly, they all have the same body type. But Mirabelle is sort of like Moana in a way where she just has her own arms. So of course that is her own build here. Her dress is very pretty. Of course, with her dress being very, very detailed in the film, it is very hard for them to make all of those little frills and all of those little different things. So I think that just, um, with this dress, they have to print a lot of that on because this would be a lot of embroidery. But um, thankfully we will be getting a Mirabelle Limitation doll, so we'll see a lot of these things in a more deluxe version. But for this scale, I think this is very nice. So there's butterflies, little dots, some swooshes. <laughs> it says Mirabelle there on her waist, really, really pretty. All of those beautiful inspired Encanto flowers and designs. There's actually like a picture of Mirabelle there, a chameleon looks like, a cat, yo, yo heart a los madrigal. Okay, so I love my family. I love the madrigal family, love the, the magic. <laughs> that looks like a capybara. And then there's a snake. I never really paid attention. Well, I knew her, deep, her skirt was really, really pretty always, but I never really looked at what was actually on it. There's music notes, a bird, flowers. In the film, it is just so pretty. I love it whenever she sings and dances in it. <laughs> Around the bottom of her skirt, there is like this um, line of lace. It's so nice, pretty. It's got like little eyelet, little holes through it. Very, very pretty. Again, I'm, this makes me excited for the limited edition doll. I'm so glad they're making a limited edition doll of Mirabelle. <laughs> I will be getting her. <laughs> and Mirabelle's shoes are also um, 
her own. No one else has shoes or feet like this. Not even Moana. I mean, it looks it looks similar to Moana's build, but not not completely. But but similar. So her shoes are like like slip on like sandals, and they have like pretty uh, detailing on it that is. Well, I guess Mirabelle inspired. It seems like she's done a lot of this doodling herself um, or created a lot of these little uh, designs and things. Maybe she drew them or something. <laughs> and they have straps around her ankles, you know, but there's no reason for us to take these off as these are the only shoes she comes with. If you were to take them off though, there is like a hole missing out of the side of the sandals and that way you could slip them off that way. But yeah, and they also have like brown ties around them just in case they were to fall off or something. Mirabelle's face is really pretty and I think she looks a lot better after I fixed her hair up. She has little purple earrings on and green glasses. Really, really cute. So we wanna look at Mirabelle's cool accessories and then we will get um, a look-see at what that shawl looks like. Okay, we get to the beautiful activities by lifting that panel down. And we see some really cool Encanto themed activities. <laughs> um, so, oh, okay. So find the shadow here. We have to match up the shadow specifically with the right toucan, looks like. <laughs> and then pick out the missing piece of this puzzle featuring Mirabelle playing her accordion. Bring Luisa and the donkeys back to Casita, fun. Oh, and draw Chispy. Ooh, okay, so is this animal's name Chispy? Okay, I didn't know that. So I believe the capybara's name is Chispy. <laughs> Maybe, if I'm calling it the right thing. <laughs> okay, and a lovely image of Mirabelle. Looks like she's standing in, in the Encanto or at her house, she's holding a butterfly and she's just spinning her skirt and is feeling herself. So we love that. Let's get to the accessories. Luckily, this box has been treated very good in shipping and everything. You know, no, no big um, malfunctions or anything here. Again, I love that gold, the golden Kanto magic. <laughs> so we want to pull this perforation, just like so. You just pull it down and it will slowly just reveal the magic inside the accessories. <laughs> okay, this has something in it. There's something in that and something in this. Okay, so in this tissue, Looks like it's a box. Just from the shape. <laughs> Ooh. So this is like a gift box. Very, very pretty. It has a rainbow on this side with leaves and sunshine and rain. <laughs> There's a cat, a butterfly. This really looks like what's on Mirabelle's dress. A snake, flowers. Toucan and Chispy. <laughs> I love the bow on top. It looks really realistic. Like it looks like, like it's openable. Oh yeah. So it, I thought it was really like made out of cardboard, like a gift box. So, but the lid comes off and you could store some things in there. I just might. <laughs> Um, and it just looks so lovely next to Mirabelle. We'll have to see what that looks like in her hands. This feels like a musical instrument. Yeah. Mirabelle's accordion. Really fun. It isn't squishy or anything. It's molded like this. It has little buttons and keys on it. And of course, like this venting here, really, really nice. And there's like straps so that we could probably place this around one of her arms while she's holding it. You know, I love, I love the accordion. Really, really like that. Okay. There's more surprises. 
This is the Magical Encanto candle that um, lights the gift for the Madrigal family. I love how it's painted, it has a flame. Um, and in the candle, there is a beautiful butterfly design imprinted on it, and it's painted really nice. It's also on like a nice wooden like candle stand or like a stone ceramic candle stand, really, really pretty. Again, something else that would look so lovely in her hands. We now have Chispy, which I have learned his name is. He's looking sassy and just over everything, just as um, I suppose he's supposed to. <laughs> and he's like painted brown and has like hair. He looks like he's covered in fur. <laughs> his little paws are black, really, really cute. And look at his nose and his mouth. <laughs> little ears super super cute but I had no indication his name was Chispy that's really cool I must have missed that somewhere love him and there's a few more little things here she has a lot of little accessories but I think that's because she doesn't have a second outfit this is her brother Antonio's stuffed animal of a leopard and again it looks like maybe this is something that Mirabelle has crafted herself as it looks like it's been painted on or customized um, including like this blue stripes on his tail really really cute like little stitching on there really nice okay and finally we have a toucan <laughs> he's sitting like on grass and he has blue feet very pretty and vibrant he's smiling you know he's just ready to have a good time it reminds me of fruit loops um <laughs> it's just really really cute he's got big eyes and his tail feathers are really really pretty so of course mirabelle comes with like this whole trove of like things i think that Disney kind of dropped the ball on not giving Mirabelle a second outfit, um, especially whenever they gave characters original outfits like Pocahontas. They gave her an original outfit in this set of the blue dress with the tassels. I feel like Mirabelle had so many different kind of concepts from her concept art or just maybe even something original someone could think of that there was no um, excuse for them to not make her a second dress. So I don't know what was up with that, but it is also super nice to get this whole trove of treasures. So really, really cute. All things that you could really take good pictures with for Mirabelle or play the story out with. Did recently see though that with the set with Dolores, they included the plate of Bruno's vision where Mirabelle is standing in front of Casita and it cracks. I thought that was really cool. I wasn't expecting that. So, but we want to see what this shawl looks like on Mirabelle. So basically it's like, um, it's white fabric and it matches the top of her dress. And I've seen this in the parks. Um, uh, I believe that in fall and winter, Mirabelle in the parks wears the shawl over top of her dress. So that's probably what this is inspired from. So, but it kind of looks like wings when you undo it. it. Has little butterflies on top and more of Mirabelle's wacky little designs like flowers and butterflies. So we're going to see what this looks like on her. And you just take it and put it around her neck like so. And we want it to, of course, um, latch in the back. <laughs> super cute like i love this like i i mean even though they didn't give her a second outfit i love that we have this option of putting her in this outfit from the parks um so i will have to look and see if i can find a picture of that someone has taken of mirabelle in that but um probably here soon like as the seasons change and it becomes like fall and winter um, we'll see Mirabelle in, in that, in this shawl, possibly. Um, her arm joints were a little brittle, but they all kind of have been whenever you first open the, these and, and play with them. But I really, really liked that. So, I was thinking we could get her to hold something here. <laughs> Maybe the box, like, it looks like a Christmas present. Get her to... See what we can do here. 
don't want it to fall. Really nice, I love that. Oh, and we have to see what the accordion looks like on her. I don't know if you can do that with her in this outfit. Might have to take this off. <laughs> then we could take this. Seems like, well, I guess it should be able to just go like around both arms, I guess. It's kind of like a brittle plastic. <laughs> um, I'll have to work on that, but <laughs> the plastic for those straps is so like brittle. <laughs> um, okay, maybe this is a little bit better. <laughs> I'm gonna have to work on that. But hey, so it is really a cute accessory. I just have to figure out how they want us to get it on her. <laughs> and yeah, her joints are a little brittle. And I think that's just given, given the, um, the newness. She's, she's not quite been enough yet. <laughs> okay, everybody, that is all of the accessories, the details, the outfits, the discussing of this Mirabelle Disney story doll. I'm so excited that they made her. There's just a little hair sticking up there. <laughs> I'm so excited that they made her and I'm adding her to my collection. And I'm really excited about this beautiful box. Well, let me know what you think of her and if you're going to buy her. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so now. <laughs> All right, everyone. See you next time. Bye, guys.